A very good day to all of you. Today we are going to learn the conservative vector field and independent of how. First of all, let's look at the conservative field test in 2D space. Let f equal to m x y i plus n x y z, where m and n have continuous first partial derivative. Then f is conservative if and only if del m m here, del m del y equal to del n del x. Okay. Sometimes you may confuse uh, whether it's del m del x equal to del n del y. Hence, it will be easier if you use curl of f. Okay. Well, curl of f is actually del cross f, where del is a differential operator. If your f is a 2D key, two dimensions key vector, Hence, the del is a two dimensions differential okay, vector, which is okay, del is actually del del xi plus del del yj. So we are cross with the vector f consists of mi and j, and this is a determinant okay, of a two by two matrix. Hence, okay, is actually taking the main diagonal del del x the n minus del del y f. If f is conservative, then curl of f is zero vector. Hence, del n del x equal to del m del y. That's what given here. Del n del x equal to del m del y. Okay, if in the 3D space, then your f have up to the component k, which is p x y z k. Hence, against to okay. Test whether the vector f is conservative, then we need to prove that the curl of f is equal to zero vector. And for three dimension scale, three D vector, so the curl okay, of f, we have a del which is a differential operator. If f is three dimension, then the curl is del del x i plus del del y j plus del del z k cross with the vector f consists of m i n j plus e k. The cross vector, okay, cross product will get a vector. So for component i j k, to get your component i, you cross the component i, then you left the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix. You have the j cross k, you get positive i. So for component i, it's actually you del del y p. The other way, P minus you delta Z the N. This is for component I. And then for component J, if you close J, you have I cross K is actually negative J. Okay, to put it, I cross K is negative J, so negative J. Then it's actually you delta X P here, yeah, minus you delta Z the N. And then for component K, Component K, you cross the okay, component K here, you left I cross J, you get positive K. So which is delta X the N minus the delta Y N. If F is conservative, then curl of F equal to zero. Hence, okay, the component I will get equal to zero. Component J is zero. Component K is zero. Hence, you should get a zero vector. Then okay, what is okay, conservative vector field? Okay, okay, vector field F is conservative if and only if exists a scalar function P such that F equal to del P. Okay, this scalar function P is called as potential functions. Okay, and then line integral of conservative vector field. If F is conservative, then we have two methods to evaluate the line integral f dot dr across the curve c. Okay, you can evaluate the line integral. Okay. If f is conservative, then the line integral is actually independent of half. Means, okay, in the first case, uh, in the previous okay, lectures, we have shown that line integral is actually dependent of half. Different path will give you different answer. But if f is conservative, line integral is actually independent of the path. 
So you can choose the simplest path to evaluate your line integral of vector field. Okay, or you can use potential function by okay, finding the potential function, then evaluate a potential function from the starting point to lower point as what well, you evaluate the integral, then you can keep okay, find the line integral. Okay, example one, find the work done by the vector field fxy equal to half xyi plus one fourth x squared j on the particle move from the point 0, 0 to 1, 1 along the following curve. Okay, C1, y equal to x. C2 is x equal to y squared. C3, y equal to x cubed. Okay, first of all, okay, we use a normal ways to evaluate your line integral. Okay, without okay, looking at the conservative vector field first. Okay, curve 1, y equal to x. Hans, okay, we let x, let the variable at the right hand side, which is x equal to b, then y will be equal to b. Since x move from 0 to 1, Hans, okay, b also move from 0 to 1. Okay, and then okay, you put it into rt, component i is actually your x. Huh? So component i is t, component j also is from the y. Yeah? So it's t. And then the so fxy is half xyi plus one fourth x squared j. Okay, so this is the line integral f dot dr along curve c1, curve c1. So t from 0 to 1. Okay, f from half xy. Yeah? x is t, y is t, so become half t squared at the component i. Okay, component j is one fourth x squared, so it's one fourth t squared. Then you dot with the dr. Dr. Okay, from RT your dr in your okay, is actually you have okay, one i and one j dt. Yeah. Okay, and then you do the dot product. Okay, you have the half t squared plus one fourth t squared. So total is three over four t squared. Okay. Evaluate it respect to t from zero to one. You get the answer is. One fourth. Okay, and then okay for b the curve is x equal to y squared. Okay, then we let y equal to t. We always let the variable at the right hand side equal to t. Okay, then x will be equal to t squared. The y is t, x is t squared. Okay, sin t from zero to one. Okay, sorry, sin y. Eh? Y more from zero to one. Okay, and then y equal to t. So t also from 0 to 1. 0 to 1. And then so your rt will become, okay, this is x, this is the y. Okay, and then dr, we have 2t at component i, 1 at component j, dt. The fxy substitute x is t squared. Okay, y is t. So f, we have half t cubed. Plus one fourth x squared x is actually t, so t squared so total is one fourth t power four. Okay, dot with your dr, which two t comma one dt. Okay, evaluate your dot product. You have half time two half t cube time two t, so two and two cancel. So your total is two t power four. Two t power four. And then, okay, component j is plus t power 4 over 5. So, total is 5 t power 4 over 4. Okay, integrate respect to t from 0 to 1. So, you get answer 1 4. So, curve a, curve, eh, curve c1, c2 both give the same answer 1 4. Okay, let's look at the curve c3. Curve c3 y equal to x cubed, okay, let x here equal to t, then y will be equal to t cubed. x is t, y is t cubed, sin x from 0 to 1, so t also from 0 to 1. Hence the rt, okay, this is x, huh? x is t, component j is y, so y is t cubed, finds a dr, which is 1, comma 3t squared dt, so fxy is half xyi plus 1 for x squared, so x is t, y is t power 3. So component k i for f is half t power 4. 
Okay, component J is X is T, so 1 fourth T squared. 1 fourth T squared dot with the dr here. Okay, 1i plus 3t squared j dt. Okay, it values the dot product we have here. Okay, half t power 4. Right, time 1. Plus, okay, component j times j. So you have 3 over 4. t power 4. So total you have 5 over 4 t power 4 dt from 0 to 1. Okay, evaluate to get 1 force. So you notice that okay, the line integral along curve C1, C2, C3, different path, but you get the same answer. Same answer. Okay, this is what we mean. Okay, line integral is independent of path. Okay, line integral is in in independent of path. Okay. If and only if f is conservative. Okay. C you get one fourth. B you get one fourth. A you have one fourth. Different path, huh? different path, we get the same answer. Same answer. So this is what we call independent of path because f is conservative. Okay. Now we test the concept of conservative. Okay, this is the f x y and this is okay, the Component i is actually we denote as m. Component j is n. Okay. And then, or, or you may put it this way. Mm, this is i, this is j. Put it in the curve form. You have del del x. And then, you have del del y. So, del del x, you have component i here is half x y. Component J is 1 fourth x squared. Okay, that's why you del del x, okay, del del x 1 fourth x squared. Eh? Del del x 1 fourth x squared, that's why you have half x. Del del y half x y, you have half x. Okay, since okay, del m del y equal to del n del x, hence f is conservative. Okay, this one, uh, and you find it, you get zero vector. Delta x, okay, one fourth, you get here, half x. Delta y, half x, so you get zero vector. Hence, f is conservative. Okay, if f is conservative, then line integral is independent of half. Okay, they are actually both way. Yeah? If line integral is independent of half, then f is conservative. Or f is conservative means line integral is independent of half. Okay, as long as you have same starting and ending point, okay, doesn't matter you use okay, which path will give you the same answer. Okay, and then as what we said just now, if line uh if f is conservative, then we have two ways to evaluate the line integral. It's either you just use a simplest path. Or use potential function. It means like okay, example one, because f is conservative, you either you use potential function to evaluate the line integral, or you can use the simplest path. Let's say a, b, c here. I will use y equal to x because this is the easiest okay, easiest path to evaluate your line integral. Okay, now okay, we have we have shown okay, what's meaning of independent of path. And then we try, okay, we have shown the conservative factor field, and now we are going to use potential function to evaluate the line integral. Okay, if f is conservative, then f equal to del v. Okay, where v is a scalar function, okay, that we are going to find and use it to evaluate a line integral. So f, okay, given here, half xyi plus one fourth x squared j equal to del v. Okay, del v is actually del is a differential operator. You have actually del del x. Okay, and then this is del del y multiply v. V is scalar. Okay, that's why you multiply in. You have f equal to del v del x i plus del v del y j, and then you compare component i. Okay. I 
you get del p del x equal to half x y. Okay, if you com compare component j, you get del p del y equal to half f one fourth x squared. Okay, your task is to find the potential function, use it to evaluate your line integral. So to get the p, if from component i, okay, this is del del x, then to get the p, you integrate okay, it with respect to x. Or from, from del p del y, you integrate respect to y. So from del p del x, okay, to get p, you integrate half x y dx. Okay, again, this is partial integration where when you integrate respect to x, y is constant. So half is constant. So if you integrate y over 2 x respect to x, okay, where y and half is constant. So you have actually x squared, okay, y constant. Huh? So you have x squared over 2, then over 2 again. That's why I get 1 for x squared over y plus f y. Because you integrate respect to x, y is a constant. Okay, and then from del p del y, you can also integrate 1 for x squared dy, where the x is a constant. Okay, so that's why integrate 1 for x squared respect to y, you get 1 for x squared y. Okay, integrate respect to y, x is constant. So you have two equations. And to get the p, you can combine, okay, combine, yeah? I mean, you combine equation 1 and 2, but don't add up. I mean, okay, if you start from equation 1, Start from equation 1, the p x y is 1 for x squared y, f y. Okay, f y refer to a function of y, okay, you can refer to equation 2. You couldn't find it's a function of only y only, that's why f y is k. If you start from equation 2, you have the p x y is 1 for x squared y, g x. Okay, and then g x, you can look into equation two, 1. In equation 1, you couldn't find function of x only, that's why g x is k. Hence, p x y is one for x squared y plus k. Okay, notice that don't add up one and two. If you add up one and two, okay, this term you add this term you get become half x squared y. But it's actually you always take new term. Means if you already taken one for x squared y from equation one, okay, this one don't take it anymore. Okay, and don't have anymore, then it plus constant k. Once okay, your line integral f dot dr, you can use the potential functions. Okay, evaluate it from the bottom is your starting point. Okay, starting point, upper k okay, limit is the ending point. Okay, and then you evaluate it like you evaluate the integral. Okay, plug in x is one, y is one, so you get answer one part. When you plug in zero, zero. Because you have actually 1 fourth times k minus 0 plus k. That's why the answer is 1 fourth. Okay, and then the second example. Evaluate the line integral f dot dr along curve c where c is a piecewise small curve from 1, 1, 0 to 0, 2, 3. Okay, and given the vector f is 2xyi plus x squared plus z squared j plus 2zyk. Okay, in this case, we have we only know okay, the starting and ending point. Starting and ending point. Then we don't know what kind of path okay, from the starting point to ending point. Is it straight line? Is it curve? Okay, and what kind of equation? So we don't know. So if that is the case, okay, we can check whether f is conservative. Because if f is conservative, then we can use potential function to evaluate the line integral. Because in this case, we don't know okay, what kind of path from starting point to ending point. So first of all, we check whether f is conservative. Because when f is conservative, then we use potential function to evaluate the line integral. So okay, the curve of f, del cross f, okay. And as in just now, if we do the curve of f, in this case, we get this is actually the zero vector. Hence, f is conservative. If f is conservative, then exists a potential function f equal to del p. 
So you let the F equal to del phi, which is del phi del x i plus del phi del y j plus del phi del z k. So you compare component i with i j with j k to k. So component i, okay, mean del phi del x equal to 2xy. Component j, del phi del y equal to x squared plus z squared. Component k, del phi del z equal to 2zy. So to get phi, okay, from del phi del x, then you integrate respect to x. Because, okay, if you integrate here, both hand side, this is how you get phi. So the same thing. So from del phi del x, you integrate phi okay, respect to x, where y and z are constant. That's why you see the constant here is function of y and z. So integrate 2xy respect to x, you have the x squared, okay, x squared y plus function of yz. Okay, p x y z can be obtained by integrates, okay, uh, from del phi del y, integrate respect to y. So integrate x squared plus x squared dy, okay, where when you integrate respect to y, x and z are constant. That's why you have x squared y plus z squared y. Okay, and then when you integrate respect to y, x and z are constant. That's why the constant is actually g is a function of x and z. From del phi del z, you can obtain phi by integrate this one, del phi del z here, respect to z, where x and y are constant. That's why the integral, the constant is function of x and y. So integrate 2zy dz, so you have z squared y. Okay. And then to get your phi, okay, to get the phi, the easiest way actually, See, the easiest way always takes the new term from equation 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so you have this one, x squared y. Okay, this one take it, don't take it anymore. Take z squared y, z squared y. Okay, and z squared y already have, uh, don't take it, so plus k. Plus k. Okay. okay. This is the easiest one, but if you want to understand... It's actually x squared y plus fyz. Fyz is a function of y and z actually refer to here. That's why you have this term x squared y plus z squared y. And then function of g, x, z, x and z. You look at, because we start from 1, 1, you get fyz in number 2. And then this one have already, don't take it. Then g x z z x z okay? look at three yeah? x and z we don't have so this is actually k that's why the answer is x squared y plus z squared y plus k from this one okay when look from here g x z this one is actually here similar so that's why the answer x squared y plus z squared y plus k yeah. This is P. Then can use P to evaluate the line integral. Okay. Bottom is a starting point. Okay. Top is an ending point. And then evaluate it like you evaluate the integral. So we have 0 squared y, y here. Okay. Okay. Uh, 0 squared, that's why this term is 0. Okay. And then 3, okay. plug in 3 here. Plug in 2 here. So that's why you have okay, z is 3. So 3 squared y is 2 plus k minus. Okay, later on plug in x is 1. Y is 1. So it minus 1 squared y plus k. Z squared y. Z is 0. Okay, you evaluate it. You get the answer is 7. Okay, the third one. Evaluate the line integral f dot dr where the fxy is y cubed plus 1i plus 3xy squared plus 1j and c is the semicircular curve from 0, 0 to 2, 0. Okay, fxy is given here. y cubed plus 1i plus 3xy squared plus 1. Okay, and you may do it okay, like you do the curve of f. Then you del del x, okay, 
this is y cube plus 1 and then this is delta y this is 3x this is 3x y squared plus 1 okay so delta x 3x y squared plus 1 you will get 3y squared 3y squared here Okay, del del y, y cubed, we got 3y squared. Okay, cons del n del x equal to del m del y. F is conservative because if you evaluate this way, okay, you get 0k. Del del x, 3xy squared plus 1, you get 3y squared. So minus del del y, y cubed, we got 3y squared, so you get 0k. Or del m del y equal to del n del x. So f is conservative. Okay, if f is conservative, then f equal to del p. f equal to del p. Then you let the f here equal to del p, del x i plus del p, del y j, del p, del y j. And then, okay, yeah. So del p, del x, Compare component i with i. Del p del x is y cubed plus 1. Compare component j. Del p del y is 3x y squared plus 1. Plus 1. Eh? Okay, and then to get the p from del p del x, you integrate respect to x. So you have integrate okay, y cubed plus 1 dx. Where you integrate respect to x, y is constant. That's why I have x, y cubed plus, uh, plus x. Because integrate respect to x. Okay, and integrate respect to x, y is constant. That's why plus f1 is equation 1. Okay, to get v also, you can from del p del y, you can integrate this one respect to y. Where x is constant. That's why the constant is function of gx. So integrate respect to y, so you have 3x y cubed divided 3, so x y cubed. Integrate 1 respect to y, you have y. Okay. Compare equation 1 and 2 that to get your p. So p x y, if you start from equation 1, you have x y cubed plus x plus f y. Function of y is actually refer to y. Okay. Refer to y and then plus a k. See the text here? x y cubed plus x new term here plus y after that plus k okay if we start from equation 2 also x y cubed plus y g x is actually referred to x so also x y cubed plus y plus x plus k okay if plus k or not k doesn't matter because when you evaluate it from starting point to ending point it will be cancelled okay so evaluate it starting point 0 0 ending point 2 0 Okay, so when you plug in, I uh, think y zero, this term zero, plug in x is two, you have two, plug in y zero, so it's zero plus k. Later on, plug in x zero, okay, so minus x zero you have zero, okay, x zero you got zero, plug in y zero you got zero. That's why the answer and then k minus k, answer answer is two. Okay, or you can use the simplest method, the simplest path. Okay, since f is conservative, then line integral of f dot dr is independent of path. So you can choose the simplest path that is a straight line, okay? straight line path, x axis from 0, 0 to 2, 0. Okay. You can use the simplest path. Because here they just say okay, circular curve, huh? circular curve. Semicircular curve, uh, semicircular maybe like here. This is zero. Yeah. They said semicircular curve from zero zero to two zero here. Okay. This is your x. Okay. Beside using potential function, you can use the simplest path. Okay. From zero zero to two zero. Okay, on the x axis, actually y equal to 0. Then you let x equal to p. Okay, x from 0 to 2 turns x equal to t. So t also from 0 to 2. 
Okay, so you can use the simplest path cos x axis y equal to 0, then x equal to t cos x from 0 to 2, t also from 0 to 2. See here. Yeah, 0 to 2. This is x axis. So x equal to t on x axis y 0, x from 0 to 2, t also from 0 to 2. That's why the R T, okay, component I is the X, component J is Y equal to 0. You find the DR, okay, DDT, T you have 1, DT 0 you have 0, so DT, okay, and this is the F, Y cube plus 1I plus 3X, Y squared plus 1J, so Y is 0, so component I you have 1I, Okay, y is 0, component j you have 1j. So evaluate the line integral f dot dr. So this is your f, 1i plus 1j dot with dr is 1i plus 0j dt. Okay, doing the dot product, so you have 1 times 1 plus 1 times 0, which is 1 dt. Okay, 1 dt, integrate 1 dt, you have t. So plug in 0 to 2, you have the answer 2. Okay, check back. Is it same with what we obtain using potential function? Yeah, same. So, okay. Uh, I think just now I forgot to go into details how we develop the curve of f in 3D. Okay, so I okay, revise back here before we conclude back what is the conservative of vector field and the potential function free and independent of half. Okay, this is just now the second example okay, where the f is three dimensions. Okay, where f is three dimensions and c is only the piecewise move curve from 110 to 023. So in this case, we don't know what's okay, what kind of path it, okay, from starting point to ending point. So we may check whether f is potential functions. If whether f is conservative, then we can use potential functions to evaluate the line integral. And here just now I, I skip okay, how to show how to evaluate the curve of f. Now I can okay, Go through back. So in 3D, the curl of F, three column, I, J, K. So delta X, I plus delta Y, J plus delta Z, K. So this is your F, 2 X, Y, I plus X squared plus Z squared, J plus 2 Z, Y, K. And then to get your component I, you close it. Okay, you left these two columns, which is your delta Y is your z y so minus delta z yeah, x squared plus z squared okay and then if we evaluate this one delta y to z y so we get answer where the z is constant this is 2 z delta z okay x which is 0 so minus delta z z squared yeah 2 z so we have here component i is 0i, yeah? 0i. Okay, and then for component j, okay, component j, remember, is negative. Huh? Close this one. And then it's i cross k is negative. So it's, um, so you can see. Okay, so you delta x to z y here. Minus delta z to x y. So component J, you delta X, okay? When you delta X, Z and Y are constant. That's why you have minus zero. When you delta Z, X and Y are constant. Delta Z, X, Y constant. So minus zero, minus zero, J. In component K, J, you have zero, J. Okay, for component K, component K, It's close here, so become i cross j. So we have delta x x squared plus z squared minus delta y two x y k at the component k. So when you delta x x squared plus z squared, the answer here you have two x. So minus delta y k you have two x. So two x minus two x you have zero k. Hence k each component you have zero i zero j zero k f is conservative and can use the potential function to find the p.
Okay, so I conclude back okay, what is the important in these lectures. Okay. If F is conservative, if F is conservative, then curl of F is actually zero vector. Okay. If curl of F is zero vector, then how you find the curl of F? Yeah. It's how you find the curl of F. How back? In K. If 2D, it just don't have the K component K. So if curl of F, you get zero vector, then F is conservative. And how to find the curl of F? For component I, you close it. Uh, then you just delta Y the P minus delta Z the N. Okay, and for component J, you close it. However, I cross K is negative J. And you delta X P minus delta Z M. Okay, and for component K, you close it. Okay, you close it. So you have delta X the M minus delta Y M. Okay, if each component you get zero vector, mean component I zero, component J zero, component K zero, hence F is conservative. Okay, if F is conservative, then you have two ways to evaluate the line integral. It's either okay, you use the simplest path, because when F is conservative, line integral is independent of path. Okay, this has been shown in the okay, example one. Because F is conservative, if you evaluate line integral on C1, C2, C3 using parametric equation, okay, we notice all give the same answer, which is one fourth. So in this case, if you know F is conservative, you may use the simplest part of the parametric equation to evaluate a line integral, or you can use the potential function phi to evaluate a line integral. Okay. To evaluate the potential function phi, plug in the okay, the bottom is a starting point, k pop is an ending point, and then using the substitute the ending point, deduct your uh, starting point, like what you evaluate the integral. Okay, and then how to evaluate the potential function phi? Okay, when f is conservative, f equal to okay, del phi. F equal to del phi. Example like here. And this is Okay. So when F okay, is conservative, F equal to del P. So you let the F equal to del P, which is del P del Xi plus del P del Ij plus del P del Zk. Then compare component I. Okay, del P del X equal to 2xy. Okay, then del P del Y equal to x squared plus z squared. Okay, for component J for component K. Del phi del z equal to 2 z y. To get phi, okay, you may integrate, okay, from del phi del x, if we integrate both hand side, okay, with dx, then you can find the phi. Mean from phi, you may integrate 2 x y dx. Also, you can integrate, okay, from del phi del y, you integrate x squared plus x squared dy. Okay, you also can, from del phi del z, you can also integrate 2 z y dz. And then, you have three equations. Three equations. How you choose your phi? Okay, start from equation one, you take it, and then okay, you can take a new term from equation two and a new term from equation three plus with k. So or this case, x squared plus y. Okay, when integrate respect to x, actually the constant is actually function of y and z. So function of y and z you look into equation two, which is z squared y. Okay, and then this term already taken, don't take, and then function of when you integrate respect to y, the constant is in terms of x and z. Okay, x and z, okay, look in at equation 3. You have no k okay, function of x and z, hence g x z k is k. That's why your phi will be x squared y plus z squared y plus k. Plus k. Okay, or easiest one is from three equations, always take new term. Don't add up. You add up this will be twice. This term will be twice. And your answer of the line integral will be twice. Okay, later on. Okay. 
topic with this thank you for attentions and watching this video